uh, this is a, um, a short video to show you how to push an application that is already part of um, the Qt examples. It's been built, it's been designed, and it works well to um, an iOS device. So to do that, what I recommend uh, very strongly is that you follow a very good um, video by the Qt uh, Studios which is called Getting, Starting, uh, Getting Started with Qt Mobile, and it shows how to push um, an Android app and an iPhone uh, app to, uh, to devices. And um, it uses Qt Quick. It's, um, it's quite good. So I highly recommend that you go through it and you make it work for you. Once you've figured out how to make this very simple example work, and by the way, you don't have to um, modify the Hello World program the way that is shown in the video. I think you'll have solved a lot of the problems and then you'll be successful with Qt Creator. So let's go back to Qt Creator and I'm going to pick the examples. Make sure you pick the uh, 520 for iOS examples and then I'm going to pick um, the analog clock right here. Click on it again. Okay, so my project is open here. I've connected my iPhone um, to my to my Mac, it's right right here connected, and I see that right here because I have a little green dot telling me that um, oh actually I'm it's connected to the simulator. I want to pick the iPhone C language Qt 5.2.0 for iOS. I'm going to pick the release version, which is as a smaller footprint for the in memory, and then. I will simply build it. So there's really nothing else to, to do here except pick the right um, kit, the right platform, and then type run. So here I'm going to turn on my phone and we should see the um, clock appearing. So that's it. Um, when everything works, it works quite well. It may take a while to get there. Uh, definitely you need to get the uh, certificate from, um, from Apple and using Xcode is a good way to, um, to get the certificate loaded into your iPhone so that you can develop for it. So get that through, um, through Apple.